Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. Some of these earlier limited edition Shinola are hard to find information on, or at least I had a difficult time figuring it out. Big thanks to Peter Von Panda. I believe that's his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his video on the similar watch down in the description because he came through with that video that he made a while ago on the uh, watch similar to this, which I guess it's identical with the, an exception, and we'll cover that. But what we're looking at here is a Shinola Air Force One limited edition. Here's a hang tag with it. You can see they were sold for $1,250, and I believe that was back in 2017. Now, the way the story goes, here's some other information because this also came with two straps and a bracelet. So the way the story goes is Barack Obama, when he was president in 2016, I believe, hopefully these dates are right, he gifted, I mean, he had a, I don't know if a relationship or what with Shinola, but he essentially bought or gifted a bunch of watches, this watch, like this one, to um, different organizations, and this one was to Air Force One, the Air Force One crew. I think he did it to a couple other uh, crews or groups as well within his organization. So that was extremely cool for, you know, to get these watches. I don't know if other presidents do stuff like that. I'm assuming they do. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's really cool that they did Shinola because I live in Michigan, although I'm not in southeast Michigan. It's cool to handle these brands that are in my home state. And there's quite a few, actually. So, um, so that happened in 2016. Now, fast forward to 2017, and Shinola did a release of 150 of these, but not on their main website, not in their stores or anything. It was only offered to their Foundry members, so which I need to register. So the way you get into that group is if you buy a limited edition watch and then you get registered into the Foundry, then you will get special offers that are not public. It's only to the people that have bought limited edition ones which I have bought that uh, Burton snowboard one. So that was a limited edition. I just need to go through the process or whatever, registering for that. And then I would have access to these unique models that are just difficult to find. And I don't know how often they do it, but it's pretty cool. Or you get first option and all that stuff. All right, enough about that. I mean, it's important to have a little bit of back history on it. Um, and if you watch Peter von uh panda's video on it his is different because it comes in a blue uh box instead of this wood one and then this one has spots inside for the watch and two straps that's how you know that on top of the fact that it actually is numbered on the case back here you can look the serial number and then over here it says this is number 21 of 150. so if you have the other one which would have been one that was actually issued to an air force one staffer um, it'll have the blue box and then it won't be numbered on the back it'll just have the serial number and it'll only come with the bracelet so this one comes with a cardboard cover that goes over the wood box with the presidential seal instead of the other blue box is actually stamped with the presidential seal okay let's get into the watch i had to cover all that so it's a 47 millimeter watch but it's 48 at the bezel the case 47 bezel 48 uh, the lug to lug is 53. This is a big watch. It's 13.4 thick, sapphire crystal up top domed, 24 millimeter lug width, 8 millimeter screw down crown, 100 meter water resist, 120 click bezel. Oh, that's like nails on a chalkboard. It's bad, guys. We'll just suffer through it. We got to get back around because OCD. Wow. Yeah, that's a really bad bezel action on this one. The newer Shinolas I've handled, the, both the Duck and the uh, Lake Monster, have way better bezel action. Um, I don't know if there's any other rotating bezels on the like Runwell style of watch. Uh, hopefully I'll check those out in the future, but this one is like, yeah, you don't want to spin that. You know, if you want to be in a meeting and wearing this watch and then spin that, everyone's going to stop talking and look over and be like, what are you doing? So that's how bad it is. All right. So let's get back to the watch. Let's zoom in on this bad boy and check out some of the details. So it's using, on the dial there, you can see it's using the Argonite 515.24. And again, I'll put a link in the description to a source that I use for, I think it's like Caliber Corner or something like that. Great, great. There's a couple of really good websites out there that you type in what 
uh, quartz or automatic movement you're looking for, and they give you a little bit of detail. So this is basically a quartz Ronda movement. I think it has about a 48 hour, uh, or 48 hour, 48 month, so like a four year um, battery life on it. And it has a one jewel, one whole jewel stuffed in that movement. A little tiny movement, it's, it's metal. You know, they assemble them in Detroit. They're, uh, Ronda's a Swiss watch uh, movement manufacturer. So they make the parts and then and then ship them over and then uh, they're assembled in Detroit. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see this has like a GMT hand. I don't know if we're gonna call it GMT hand. It's basically a 24 hour hand that you, when you unscrew the crown, basically you can, uh, in its first position when it pops out, uh, you gotta get one click out. You can change the date in one way and then you can move the uh, 24 hour hand with the other one. But you gotta like dial it in because you can't move it backwards. And then of course, if you go one more spot out, you'll hack the movement and then adjust the time. So pretty simple operation. I don't know that I would use the 24 hour hand. I guess you could use it as like an AM PM indicator. That'd be kind of nice. But uh, I usually don't track a second time zone. But you can see that presidential stamp down there. That's really cool. I, from what I understand, every time that um, Barack Obama gifted the Shinola watches to those groups, that was uh, the presidential seal was on the dial. So that was really cool. I'd hopefully I'll see some more because I know there was some smaller batches done. That would be really cool to see them. So if you're watching this for some reason and you were one of those people, hit me up. I would love to video it and show off your watch and I'll get it right back to you, I promise. But I just want to see it. It's just really cool stuff. I get, you know, I get all geeked out on this stuff. I know it's just a watch to some people, but uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, this was a gift. Not this one. This was 150 limited edition directly from Shinola. But the ones that were actually gifted from President Obama, that's really cool. I, I'm, it's, you know, uh, I don't know if Clinton did too. Because I know Clinton was into the Shinola watches too. I'm not sure if uh, Bush or anybody else was. But um, it's just really cool. So if you know of any or you know somebody that has one or if you have one, hit me up. Seriously, I'll put my email down below. I definitely want to check it out. Interesting color usage on this. You know, you have like an aluminum bezel insert on this. That's like a, almost like a candy powder blue. And then the handset, the hour and minute hand, I don't think I've ever seen that color used on a watch before. Very, very cool colorway, you know, on that stark white dial with the black printing and just a fun looking watch, guys. And a custom case back like that's really cool. I, the, I like special or limited edition watches. That's definitely my... My jam here. So here's the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Yes, it's a dinner plate. It is a big watch. I can wear it on a seven and a quarter. I can wear it. If you have a smaller wrist than me, I doubt this is going to work for you. There are some like 45 millimeter uh, Shinola watches out there that would work. There's even like 41s and stuff like that. I'm not going to turn it into a full on Shinola channel, but guys, I am going to show some Shinola. I'm like, I just go in these uh, little. Um, tangents off in the uh, distance with different brands so here's the metal bracelet you can see the first end link there is curved to kind of take the same flow as the case it's not a fitted bracelet but on a wire lug you don't want that you just want it curved so it's really cool butterfly class signed on the bottom side with the Shinola lightning very cool probably uses pin and collar this one also came with a uh, pretty heavy duty rubber strap and again on the bottom of their buckles they do this uh, orange lightning bolt i like orange and i like lightning so this one also tucked away in the kit came with a uh, little strap changing tool i think this one came with it i don't recognize that part or that uh, emblem there but just a fixed fork there i can't unscrew it or anything so um, just a fork in there with a little bit of traction so i'm assuming that came in the kit or my buddy detroit spartan threw it in there because that's his watch uh, big thanks to him for uh, loaning this. Let's kill the lights and check the loom real quick. I babbled plenty long enough. We're coming up on 10 minutes here. So there's the loom. Oh, it's a loomed out bezel. I'll tell you what, that's not bad loom. It's probably C1, maybe C3. It's it's pretty good loom. It's uh, I'm not disappointed at all. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bit.